everybody, I'm Starla. I'm Nate. And we are our, our Fan Plays Games. Games. Yeah! <laughs> and welcome to our preview of Knitting Circle, sponsored by Flat Out Games. Now, family, we all in sweaters. Man, we up to knitting stuff. Family, be sure to check out Knitting Circle on Kickstarter. But here's Starla with an overview of the game. In this vibrant and engaging tile laying game, the whole family can join in the fun of Knitting Circle. Knitting Circle is a standalone sequel to the popular spatial puzzle game Calico. Players become knitters competing to craft the coziest and most beautiful collection of garments. Gameplay is simple. Gather yarn from the central basket and knit it into garments, all the while aiming for the perfect color combination and pattern. You'll earn points by completing garments adding buttons, and meeting bonus objectives. Plus, your playful feline companion might lend a paw, helping you snag the best yarn from the bag. With variable scoring goals and dozens of unique template cards, each game offers a fresh and challenging spatial puzzle. And guess what? Kickstarter backers of Knitting Circle receive the special request mini expansion for free. This mini expansion includes 12 unique double-sided request cards. With the addition of these additional cards, players will have new ways to play that create new challenges and add completely new gameplay elements. All right, Knitting Circle. Yes, from the line of Calico. Yes. Now, let me, I'm going to be honest with your family. Calico be burning my brain. It burns my brain. But I love the game. Because it's I do. A, it's a puzzly it's game. It's a puzzly game. Yes. So when they said Knitting Circle was a follow-up, I said, uh-oh. <laughs> I said, uh-oh, I'm in yeah. trouble. Mm -hmm. But playing it, I'm like, okay. Yeah. Yeah. It, it's different. It's, it's different, but it but still, still has, has the elements. DNA. It yeah. has the DNA. Yeah, the elements. Yes, you still got some cats running around. <laughs> yes, and they're giving you grabby paws to help you out. The grabby paws. Yes, to help yes. you find the right knitting uh, materials. So you're knitting now. <laughs> so we're knitting. And yes, instead yes. of having a quilt, yes. you know, we're knitting garments. We're knitting garments, and those cats still playing around. That's right. They still playing around all up in our stuff. Yes, and with this Beth Sobel art, you just really fall in yes. love with the theme of this game that you are knitting, and you've got cats, and it just makes you feel like that, you know? And they still have, like, they talk about some of the cats Mm -hmm. on the player board. They do. So they still do that. The so I thought thing, that was really yeah, cool. Yeah, I, I like that too. I thought that was really cool. Yeah, that the follow-up just kind of makes you, ties you into that whole Calico Yeah, yeah, world. the whole universe yeah. of Calico, <laughs> is still, it still brings you there. So that's that's yeah. really, the theme is really on. And, the and like I was going. saying, the whole theme is tied together with Best Sobel art. Yes. Beautiful cats. And the you art, know, I mean, come on, Best Sobel, yeah, that's the queen. Yeah, come on, Beautiful nah. cats to look come on. at. And, and then also, I mean, the cover of the box is just gorgeous. It yes. draws you in. And, and this Just like Calico did, it drew you in. And, and then it crushed you. <laughs> it crushed you. This game doesn't crush you. It doesn't crush. It's, it crushed it's... my mind a little bit, but I love it. I love it. So now it brings you in, yeah. and you're like, okay, now it's time for some strategy. Yes. And, so but, you got uh, you got these wonderful little cats that yes. are going around in a circle, which is a basket. And it's helping you. Yes. The, your cat friend is helping you. Find the right uh, uh, yarn yarn, yes. and patterns to use in your garment. Yes, and you're making a garment. And you're making yes. different ones, you know, from the mitten, socks, hat, yes. things like that, you know, to help you out. Even pants. And even pants. Even pants. <laughs> You know, sometimes the pants is a little bit, those long johns, yeah, yeah. they make you work. It makes you work. <laughs> but it's a really interesting game and fun game because it's making you work and see what you yes. have to do. Because mm -hmm. you got to finish that pattern and, and you know, go into the next. You got to remember what pattern you're getting because, yeah. you know, I didn't know what, you know, a um, you know color block was <laughs> until I was playing this game. I said, oh, that's what a color block yeah. is. So. Thank you for helping me with some of these patterns. I'm yeah. so happy. So color blocking and stripes yes. and symmetrical. Yeah, I didn't know kinda, symmetrical. Yeah, yeah I'm yeah, like, okay, work together you got to put that there. Yeah, to make so you those got to put patterns. Yeah, to make those different sweaters or scarves.
scarves or whatever, it gives you some goals to go for. And yes. when you reach those goals, you get a button. Yes. So if you do a sweater or mittens or some type of garment and you match the particular colors that are on a button, that gives you extra points. Or, or you do the pattern. If you, if do, you do the, the pattern, pattern or yes. you do what you're working on, which is like for me, yes. is long johns or a sweater. If I can get that going, mm -hmm. then I get that special button. And I get those extra, extra points. points. Right. Yeah. Because I mean, you don't have to do the buttons that are on your board, your player mat, but if you do, there are extra points involved. Yes, they are. Mm -hmm. And then on the garment itself, you have extra, you know, some extra points right. or extra things that you get in-game uh, bonus in points game that you get. and during the game. Yes, during the game. So it's really, you know, you're just really trying to shoot for everything. Yes. And then on the garment itself, again, the longer you go, the more points you get. Right. If you complete yes. it completely, you're going to get more points. There are levels where you can stop and say, okay, yes. I'm not going to put any more tiles on this one. I'm going to go into the next one, and you'll get certain points for that. But if you say, I'm going to just st stick it out, I'm going to go all the way to the end, then you get more points. Yes. Mm -hmm. And so it is really a strategic game yes. to see how much you're going to do and, and how many of these garments you think you need to mm -hmm. do to get the points and the resources that you need all at the same time. I well, love sometimes it. sometimes when you're looking at your opponent, Yes. and they're doing this one garment and they decide to stop at level the top level and they move on to another one you're like wait a minute I'm behind so, well, maybe, so really. maybe maybe I need to, to you know stop here and just go ahead and do another garment so I can get more things well you know but if you you know if you go do some of the big patterns yeah. you know some of the big garments and go down and get the you know the uh, what is this this is like six yeah. points or yeah. the nine points or something like that and if your opponent is kind of stopping but you're getting those extra points yeah. You might, sometimes it you might play in your favor, and then yeah, sometimes you want to do more garments. So you just make the decision. Do I want to do more garments? Yes. Do I want to finish it all the way to the end? What do I want to do that's going to help me be victorious? And then sometimes if you get, if you just go willy-nilly <laughs> and just fill in your garment, and it's all <laughs> ugly, and you didn't make nothing correct, you get this ugly cat. Yeah, that's the mean that's cat. That's a mean cat. That gives you a negative three points. Negative I don't think three it's called a mean points. cat, but it's... It's mean. It it's gives a, you it's a mean points. little cat, and he upset. <laughs> and you're, you, cause you got an ugly the, garment. He looks at your garment, and said, mm -mm, nah, "No, I don't even want no, that. go back, go back." I'm not even gonna try to scratch it. I don't even want it. <laughs> you know, I don't even want to snuggle up with that. That is just no, no. So you try to make yeah. some good snuggle ups for your cat. Yes, you want to yes. make good garments that are gonna be attractive to your cat. Yes. And yes. I love the little cat tokens that you use to go around your little basket. And I love the way you collect. So you go take your little cat, you can go one or two moves, mm -hmm. then you collect your little uh, yarn and you put it on your board here. And then at the end of that, when you get all your collecting done- When you get four done, of them, right, then you, you start, go ahead and filling, start in. filling in and start take, uh, making your garment. And that's when the strategy comes in because you might have to do some moves where, okay, I need to turn this, you know, because you have two sides yes. to each one of the tiles. You have what? You have the knitted side, knitted side and the pearl side. Side. and the pearl side yeah. so sometimes you need to turn them over so you might have to give up a, a tile yeah. you know to, In get, order to, to flip. flip it over yeah you know because when it comes out of this basket you can flip it over uh -huh. anyway but once it comes out that's it <laughs> and the basket can only have two, two tiles two at the end of your turn so you're making some decisions you gotta make decisions yes you make and you decisions. want those extra pieces in that basket because you just might need them to either flip a tile or to add to a garment yes so you want to keep pieces in that basket and then also you can only have two garments going so you got to strap <laughs> Strategize, see yes. when you need to fit it in, put it in, and then go from there. Yes. Yeah, so I was never a knitter, but I learned a lot with this game. Yes, I was never a knitter. I'm not a knitter. Yeah. You know, but I see that there's a lot of work to be done. There is. Yes. A lot of terminology is in of, the game. Yes. You know, yeah. symmetrical. I was like, okay, that's symmetrical, <laughs> huh? Okay, color block, and you know, now I know solid, yeah. and I know stripes. But I ain't know about no color block. Well, you know, so. there's this whole term called knit one, pearl two. Yeah, you know what I that didn't know meant? about the pearl. The and the pearl, yeah. yeah. I didn't know on one, you know, there's a, a pearl side. I'm yeah. like, okay. <laughs> All right, so the education. Yes. Good education. It just sneaks in on you. Yeah, it's <laughs> that education sneaks in on you, baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is knitting circle. Yes, but family, don't just take our word for it. Check it out for yourself. See if your family or gaming group might check this out because it's, Really interesting, because we're just messing with the cats. And the yarn. And the yarn. And we're knitting. Yes, and we're knitting. <laughs> we're knitting stuff. Yes, we're knitting stuff for Christmas. We get stuff for Christmas ready. Okay. Yes, that's why I'm going to take it. You know, that's why I'm going to take it. And family, don't forget to check it out on Kickstarter. Be sure to check it out. But hey, Starla, where can they find OFPG out here knitting all this stuff and all this yarn all over the place? Yeah. Well, if you're looking for Our Family Plays Games, yes. you can find us on Facebook, uh -huh. Instagram, yep. Twitter, yep. 
Right here on YouTube. Right here. On our website. Website. And TikTok. 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 Yeah. Family, thank you so much for coming out for our preview of Knitting Circle, sponsored by Flat Out Games. If you have any questions or comments, please put it down below. But always remember, we love you. Bye, Bye everybody. now.